$60. It is getting wildly hot here in Las Vegas. Oh, my hair is too. Um, I'm about to drop off an order at the post office. It's an order that sold overnight. A Burberry Brit long sleeve shirt, very lightweight. I think it was 100% cotton. There are different types of materials. When it comes to apparel, I always look at the tag, especially jackets. What kind of feel is it? And for me, this item I've had for two months and I listed it. I, I bought it for five and it ended up selling for $40. I got an offer for it. I had it listed up at 50 and that's pretty much the going price anywhere from 30 to $40 if it's in decent condition and used. The moment you realize you took a photo and weren't recording. So for those who don't like reselling apparel, thank you for leaving that stuff for me. You are so kind, so, so kind. Make sure to like and subscribe folks. Let's get this channel growing. Let's get to 12,000. And then at the end of the year, crossing my fingers, I'm working on earning 30,000 subscribers. And not just subscribers, amazing people who appreciate me, like what I share. I'm not the best, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to have a good time and you to enjoy the good time and you have one as well with yourself and learn from it. Definitely learn from what I do, from my mistakes and from what I do right. Sometimes I don't know either or for some things, but you help out a lot. You definitely help out a lot in the comments, teaching me about a lot. And it carries forward. Pay it forward. Comments pay it forward as well. I'm going to go sorcerer some stuff in the bins. And uh, maybe I'll find something. Maybe I won't. So stay tuned. They don't allow us to record there. So I'll show you what I get home. I've talked about this before of having a bins haul. And a lot of people were for it. So thank you. Thank you to all of you who are for it. And those of you that are just optimistic of like, show me what you got, Sonny. It doesn't really matter. Just make it good. I still don't understand of what making it good is, but I always try my best. The thing is that like, Excuse sometimes me. when things sell super fast and you go, oh, crap. damn it. Yeah, I'm like, damn it, I didn't price it. Did, ah. I, did I undercut it? Sixty dollars you know, invested in. So then you don't sell and it these two know. guys like, got some questions to ask these two, Cesar and That's Matt. Funny. Yeah, let's let's get away from that loud engine. Yeah. Sounds like we're at a NASCAR I race. A drag race. Oh, where'd y'all park at? I parked I, over here. We just passed the my truck. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> so I could record it. A little action move. I'm telling you, you're a professional YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, you got the wagon. The, all right. the wagon Cez Cesar, yeah. did y'all start a YouTube channel yet? Not yet, but... You and your wife? It's coming. It's coming soon. Okay. You let me know when you do so I can tell people about it. Yes, sir. All right. How long have you been coming to the bins? Uh, December. December. Of 2022. Where are you from originally? El Paso, Texas. And you served the military? Yes, sir. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your service. And you are retired military, right? Yes, sir. What got you from the military into reselling? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer. No, my wife. My okay. wife got me into reselling. But so, why though? What was her reason for it? Uh, so after the military, we... You, so, so after the military, people find themselves a little lost with, without purpose and you're just sitting there doing nothing bored and, yeah you're bored and you have to fill your mind because the military kept you so busy for such right. a long time that all of a sudden you're like whoa <laughs> there's nothing to do and when did you get out the military i got out and uh when did i get out march 22 2022 so you're still transitioning yeah, into this middle world. I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie to the I, retired club. I got out in 2011. I feel like when I started reselling full time two years ago. I think it, it took about a year vehicle coming out of all places. <laughs> so I, I feel like it took a whole year, even since 2011, for me to start realizing I'm now transitioning yeah. into a civilian. Oh, there's days, there's days that I wake up and I'm like, man. So I don't, I don't miss, it's kind of, I hope it doesn't come off the wrong way, but I don't miss the military. I don't either. I miss the people. Right. that you deal right. with the community yes the community because you could get any job you could get any job yeah. and this is a job right. but it's the interaction like the daily interaction of, of what people are doing and how you're helping them that's that's what i miss the most and like and I helping have, yourself in the community yeah, because my, it's, it's my, a new community you're into yeah and my and myself was i 
woke up every day to help somebody that was not me when yeah. I was in the military. Yeah. Now sometimes I wake up and I'm like, me and my wife look at each other we're like, yeah, we're like help. the grumpy old couple. Like, <laughs> yeah. we're like, we just pick a right. fight just to pick a fight so we yeah. can solve it. Right. Yeah. And it's like, it's the craziest See, that's thing. That's why I, I want to talk about um, on the podcast stuff yeah. that uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to have him on there. Yeah. Um, is like, yeah, we can all talk about like what sold, what didn't, all that kind of stuff. But like, what do we do? when you hit like that depression or yeah. you have the good days you have the bad days how do you you're cope a parent you're a family member a friend well, what do you do how do you like and just talk about it yeah you know yeah. What I mean? Cause it's, nope. yeah it is the community that is really what either helps you be successful or helps you you know like i i think you're gonna sink or swim i told you I, I told you in there i love your the premise of your of your, of your channel because we all we all struggle with mental health yeah. Like, regardless if you are the happiest person in the world, strongest or, person, or the saddest, smartest, person, yeah, everyone matter. struggles. And it's like sometimes people don't talk about it because they don't want to show any weakness. My favorite part about reselling is not the bins. The bins is fun, but it's the yard sales. When it's I just crazy. randomly show up to a house and I just have a 20, 30 minute conversation with somebody and I don't buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel guilty. I feel guilty. I'm like, I'm gonna take this because we just had the greatest conversation. But you still take something away from it. It's yeah. just not something physical. It's I more, think you've talked the about value, it on, the on your, values there. It, it's intrinsic though, so it just depends yeah. on what you're getting out of it. Yeah. But there's value. So to the time value, it's like, yeah, the bins is good. You know what I mean? Because you can get stuff cheap, so you can almost never fail. Almost. Matt, That's not for it. my society. Yes, sir. Uh, you're on whatnot. Yes. Cesar, are you going to be on Whatnot eventually? You and Elizabeth? First you two. Then First maybe Whatnot. Okay. We'll, yeah. we'll come back to but, that but eventually. But the, the, better, the better half of this team is home right now with the kids because they just went into summer. Yeah. Even though we have older kids. Yeah. <laughs> right. She, she wants to be there with yeah. the kids. So That's all part to... of uh, retiring and stuff is being yes, there for family and doing more of what you want your way. It's yes, a dream. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt. Back That's to you. Fire. You do have what not? Yeah. You have one today, so you and you got work today too. Yeah, I gotta go to work. And, and you and have then, a family. Yeah. You, uh, one of them has a party later, so I might do the what not while they're out of the house. Okay. Uh, then I'll do another one Monday. Uh, I'll try to follow yours. When are you planning on having your YouTube channel? Um, I'm starting. I'm gonna start scheduling. I guess schedule with you. I guess schedule with uh, Chaz and Trista. Other people you've been talking and, to, and like other people in. Love for you to be on there too, um, and just kind of have uh, weekly, bi-weekly. I don't know. However, yeah. just go with the flow. Feel it out. Just yeah. have real, like real conversations. It's been an early morning. Got some work done sourcing. I want to show you what I got. I'm gonna head home. Then I'm gonna show you what I got from the the Benz hall. And then you tell me in the comments, folks. Tell me what you think about this. Do you want to see more of these Benz halls? I'm excited to show you what I got. Are you ready for my Benz haul? Make sure to like and subscribe to let me know that you did. All right, first one, it is 90 degrees plus here in Las Vegas. And I found a brand, I was at Castaways. Mikey was just there. We went there together a while back and I came across two All Saints shirts. I didn't pick them up, but I got a lot of comments about like, you passed up on not one, but two. I think I even passed up on three. So this time when I came across it, they're not shirts, but it is a sweater, All Saints Large, oversized fit. This is knitted, and at first I thought it was a little messed up, but Matt, who um, also joined us as in me and Mikey Bags of Money, Taco Wolf, and Cesar, we all met there at the Benz, ran into some people that recognized one another here locally, and then also met David, who was from out in El Paso, Texas, was talking to Cesar a lot. We're both from Texas. Go Tejano, shout out to Texas. And even if you're not from there, born and raised, got family there, shout out to Texas. As they were talking, I came across this. This All Saints knitted sweater. Now at the bottom, I'm trying to show you this because it's all black, but there has some like distressing. And at first I thought it was a little chewed up, but then when I looked at it a little closer, it's kind of like a pattern that's on like right here and down where there's these holes around front and back and I felt like there's no way that this was just ruined by somebody. That's the style of it. So Matt ended up looking this up um, when I was source, when I was filtering through my cart because him and Cesar finished um, before I did, I got a lot more stuff. And also I was just grabbing things and putting it in a cart. I put very little things back. So I did I make the right choices? 
on stuff to resell on eBay. Um, I'm going to use less perfectly. So I have Poshmark, Mercari. Those are going to be my next ones. But whatnot, I got stuff for that too. But not so much of my own whatnot. On Thursdays, every now and then, we join forces with Carrie American Arbitrage, Dawn Lady Arbitrage, Jesse at Yesterday's Fits, of Yesterday's Fits, and my broski, Mikey Bags of Money. We're going to have some stuff there too. So make sure to check us out next Thursday, not this Thursday. All Saints sweater should sell for around $20. The weight of this is not too heavy. It folds up really easily. It's going to go inside a poly bag and should sell for no less than $20, 50 cents for this. When you start breaking down how much I paid for everything, which was around $58. $58 at the bins, you're crazy. <laughs> crazy awesome. Betsy Johnson, I may just have this on my own whatnot. Nice little top right here. Betsy Johnson, what's what's this say? I can't read up. I can't read upside down. Um, good night world. All right, that's what it says. Good night world. Betsy Johnson lips. When I see that, I was like, oh, I almost threw it. But as I was throwing it back in the cart or throwing it back in the bins, I was like, well, come back here. So very lightweight. I, I probably make five bucks off of this. Who knows? Um, 50 cents. Even if I make three dollars and sells off of that, I'm going to be getting my money back. Now, there's some things I don't know much about, but when I think it's pretty, I'm going to try it out for my own to test some things out, see what the customers like. And I didn't see this at first. But maybe because it shows a little bit cleavage, so they pinned it. There's a little bobby pin right there. Not bobby pin, a safety pin. And uh, the padding of the gross goodies right here is really good. I, and I say that because sometimes the material gets washed or gets ruined. It gets really lumpy. And I'm a guy, but I wouldn't want that on me. Like a lumpy feeling of padding to hold up my girls. And I do have some girls. I'm working on it. I've been going to the gym lately. And chest is one of the things that I'm working on. As well as slimming down. This is from a brand called Cheese Cool. 100% polyester. Lining polyester as well. But I thought this was very pretty. And it's nice and lightweight. And I thought for the summer and it being a little glowy. It's almost like a, a gypsy style. There is some paisley going on. Nice glitter throughout. And when I was looking at this, I really don't like things that are glitter, but even messing with it, just all over it, I don't have any glitter on my hand. And I like that because a lot of times glitter will get everywhere. And you're like, man, that's so pretty. But then glitter's everywhere, passing on it. So I like this. I'm gonna put it on my own whatnot. I'm gonna start it off at $3. If it sells for three, it's all right. I think that's a decent profit off of 50 cents. But if it sells for more, the thing is about dresses, shirts, and things like that, not everybody wears the same size, right? And it might not be any competition. That's the thing with whatnot auctions. You need at least two people. You could have a hundred people in your show, but if there's not two people wanting to compete about one another up to a value that they feel is good for them to buy it at, then you're gonna end up just getting what you price it as. And for me, uh, that's probably should be at $5, but I said three, so we're gonna list it at three. Now this one, here's a piece right here. Give you a few seconds to name this brand if you know it, just by looking at it like this. Do you know this brand? This is a little uh, top right here. And uh, I like the quality of this. I was looking at it and I come across this often at the same bins that I just went to. Torrid, size zero. Nice summer dress right here. Has some ruffling in it. And I think it has hand pockets. Very, very cool. Now, I do pretty good with Torrid pants on eBay. I've sold a few on whatnot. Didn't do very well, folks. So this might end up being that I look for it on, I look it up on eBay to see if it's worth selling there than here. And right now, it's the perfect time for it. Polo Ralph Lauren. I, I've sold a shirt like this but a different colorway, a yellow, a yellow, white, and blue. And it sold for $65. So when I saw the colorway, I was like, oh, that reminds me of the polo shirt. No stains either, very, very clean, nice white color, as you can see, nice green color too. The collar is a little flat, but that's okay. Sometimes it's so pressed down that I don't even mess with them when they feel like they're pancake pressed down and you open it and it's just like, man, that's it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. It feels like I'm gonna have some trouble tips pitter-pattering chasing his toe right now um, but overall really good condition no rips or stains and it smells clean too it smells like detergent can't believe nobody picked this up and this one 15 20 bucks now this one right here was a surprise because it is vintage there was a lot of people looking for vintage shirts one of the guys I was talking to at the time said that he's looking for vintage stuff and I look right down where his hand was he left from it and I ended up finding this vintage stitch New Mexico um, 
little uh, native feather necklace right here. That I'm pretty sure there's a name for it. Green Star's best shirt. Really good quality. I'm going to see if um, I'll start it at five. Very vintage, very old school, night colorway, and awesome pattern on here too. Yeah, that's nice. Surprised I came across that. Now I'm going to show you all the shirts, and then I'm going to just show you all the plushes afterwards, all the little things. Um, Nike shirt, performance shirts, I do very well. This might be a $10 to $15 shirt. Again, the comps might say differently, and I'm going to throw it up there. I haven't really messed with Nike shirts in a while. There's so much out there, especially different types. But for the condition of this being really nice condition and for the price that I'm paying for, I'm going to make profits. 50 cents and to 10 bucks all day, my friend. Another woman's top right here. This one's like a, a nice sundress. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, this is a gingham style too. A gingham kind of checkered, micro checkered, a snap button dress. And then is it like shorts or is it a skirt? No, it's a dress. The brand is pink. The brand is pink Cadillac. This reminds me of old school one, adjustable shoulder straps, which is good, depending on how tall or small you are, but I like this. Nice pearl snaps on there, caught my attention. Very lightweight. So again, some of this stuff's gonna go on my whatnot. Sanrio Hello Kitty. Yeah, little kid's skirt. This is a kid's size. There's a six on there, but I don't know if that's just part of the label or what. Gonna have to add a little measurement. I don't know what kit size is. I was interested in this because of rocks. Now these right here, let me turn these around. I'm gonna take out some right here because those are the ones like, ooh, that's a nice color. Now these are natural quartz stones. Some people sell them anywhere from like $2 up to 11, up to $30, different types. This one's a lot different than this one right here. It may not be able to see it, but it has like a, a soft green, almost like a jade color. And this way I could almost see through halfway. Now, all these other ones are majority white, natural color, white quartz. And then there are some more greens and white tones. So I may be throwing some of these up as a lot on my own. There you go right there. On my own um, whatnot, even a few bucks. Now here are the ones that got me really excited because these are the darker ones, if you could see this. Can you see that? Look at that right there. Look at that. That is pretty. I think that's green. It could be blue. Now here's another one. Here's a darker one. Look at this one. This one definitely has blue in there. Has some layers. Really nice. And anybody that shapes stones would probably love these. Some more greens, but I think you get the gist of this. Any other colors? Here's another dark one. Look at this. Look at that. That's freaking cool cool little miniature things and i think this would be good on my own whatnot or anybody's whatnot look at this little spatula folks a little spatula right here for my burger king hands yeah bringing back the burger king hands a little roller for some tortillas or some some biscuits no I'm, i might end up using this but just nice little utensils right here a little scooper then strainer right here this is really good for wontons and then you got a little, a whisker. Then this one right here, back scratcher. And then you have some, I wouldn't say miniature because cookie cutters could come in different sizes. And then it has a little tray that goes with it. I got a lot of stuff that not bad for $58, I believe. Got a Mickey Mouse shirt. I'm gonna wash these. This is Disney Mickey Mouse, a really nice fun shirt, tank top. That's very cool. All right, from the second bag, this is a Hollister. Um, Art of Resale just bought quite a bit of stuff of Hollister. And he said, anybody still buy Hollister? And that's what had my attention on there. Uh, now this one, what is that? Super glue? Gum. Oh no, I didn't see this, folks. There's like gum stuck on the back. That's probably why they got rid of it. How do you get rid of gum like that? Is it good? I'm just joking. <laughs> but it has some gum, I believe, on the back that dried up. Um, I think some ice, putting it on there uh, will help out. I think so. Um, but here's the Hollister type of hoodie. Size large. Nice hoodie. Nice pattern. And Goodwill had it originally priced for $6. $5.99. Now, this stuff right here, I saw some scarves, some silk ones. Some of them didn't have labels. Not all of them are silk. Silk. But I figured... I'll put it in a lot and sell it on whatnot on my own because I got quite a bit of ladies that come and buy some stuff 
And this is really nice. A little throw over right here. A little throw over for the sun. Nice protection. Now here's one of them. Now it might be several lots, but I really like these. Oh, this is a dress. I'll get to the scarves because I see them. I thought this was a scarf. Um, here's another nice little dress. This is from Motherhood Maternity. Any maternity type clothing, you definitely want to look at it. And it being at the bins, really good condition, nice colors. This would be really nice. And you don't have to be pregos, I guess, to be rocking that. You could get it for yourself. Nice, comfortable, lightweight. Here's a scarf right here. Nice long scarf. Could be a throw over. This one I don't think had a tag on it. Feels like silk, but there's some materials out there that they're just higher quality of polyester that feels like it. Um, this one right here. Nice paisley scarf. No tags. This shirt right here. This is a very cool shirt. This is from French Laundry. I believe I see this brand in Nordstrom. Look at the design on this. Very, very cool. Nice. I wouldn't say this is sheer. You just see through it. Um, it's not like the sheer that I come across where it's like really flimsy, lightweight, and it's, I've never liked those, especially for my body size. But this is a very cool shirt, button up. And I figured this would be cool to list. Definitely going to be worth some money. Nice little profit on that one. Some scarves. This one is see-through. If you could see that. All right. When I see silk stuff like scarves, I start looking around that same bin because there's usually some in there. So all the scarves that I found were all in the same proximity within a feet from each other. Just um, through a lot of stuff. Now this is, I don't know what it's called, but this is a woman's. This is the top. And then these are the legs to it. So it's hard to see. Nice loose fit. A boho style wide leg. And then it's also more paisley, if you can see it inside the camel incognito camouflage pattern. This is by MSK. I think I came across this name before. I don't remember if it was good, but the pattern on this and the quality of it, and again, for how much I'm paying for it, was pretty cool. This is going to go on my whatnot. More silk. Right here. Here's the tag. Right there. This is by Michael Murray, all silk, made in the USA with a tag like this. This is vintage. Another shirt, is this Disney shirt? Another Mickey Mouse. This one's a nice little cool kid souvenir jacket. I like this one. I usually see them like adult sizes, mainly women. But when I seen this one, I thought that was really cool. You're often gonna find the tags. If it's not under the collar inseam, it's gonna be on the inside inseam, rib inseam, polyester. Boy Scouts of America. This is a really nice condition for a men's adult size. I usually sell these for anywhere from around $8 to $15. I don't remember the last time I've actually sold one for around $20, but they're out there depending on the on the patches and things that are on there. Yeah, got a Raiders pennant. This was pretty cool. Very, very cool. This one's going to be for me inside my office. And when I pulled it out, Cesar was like, I didn't see that there. And he was right around it, which is funny. Um, this one right here, really excited. Jackets. I've been selling more and more jackets um, at least once every week, especially with the heat coming in. This is a G3, and I really don't like buying G3 at all. Anything from them. But this one I ended up looking up. It being vintage and being an overcoat. This is a women's small Petite, <clears throat> petite small, has a nice color block of black to it, more like a suede, has like little dots to it, and then a smooth flat leather. And then this is flat too, which is why I also got it. Got some shoulder paddings on the inside. This is 100% leather, uh, shell at least. The lining, the lining is pretty much probably gonna be nylon. Jackets of G3 are long sales, just like this one might be. And those usually go for 40 but again, they're going to usually be a long sale. If it's short sale for you, good for you. All right, this is one of the first things Caesar, uh, Cesar was looking at. And I was like, oh, I like that. And he was like, yeah, I know this kind of stuff you get. Look at this vintage little box right here. Little tin box. Cesar was like, you can take it. And I was like, oh, thank you. And to and from the beginning of our treasure hunt at the Benz, um, a Kona hat right here. It almost looks like the ACDC type of font. Um, Kona hat, this is, I'm gonna say an old school vintage style hat. 
Uh, it could be 90s. It could just be a hat, but made modern, like a modern print that came out. Kona Surf Company. And then look at this. Kona Surf Company. This looks more like a Mountain Dew type of colorway. So all these are worth money, but if not, they're pretty cool to rock you around. Some summer hats, foam trucker hats. Uh, more hats. I do really good with visor type of hats first time i come across one of a reggae i could probably use this with as much hair as i'm growing out to tie it up and put this in there but not this time of the year folks but i think this would be probably around eight bucks some of these visors i've sold for twenty dollars another one cesar ended up giving me he's like you want this and i was like oh uh, we, are we going out for drinks brand new with the tag nothing wrong with this and it has a bottle opener Really nice, still has the cardboard backing on the inside. Another hat right here, if there's any Robert, lightweight little foam felt type hat, has still has a string on here. I'm gonna put that on whatnot, see how that goes. First item I picked up, and this is gonna be a vintage one. This might be 60s, 50s, maybe even earlier. Eva May, look at this hat. These are the hats that the ladies back in the day would pin down on their hair, right? Just like this, those little fancy little proper hats that people wore and they never showed leg or skin just their face pretty unique when i saw this hat i i said i'm getting it kind of reminds me of when people go out to the races uh they walk the streets out in movies they had the flower that's on there all original i thought this was really cool i don't know how much this is worth it is not in the best condition but i couldn't leave that be sitting inside there and not be respected for the time that it's lived this long Travis Matthew, really good brand to look out for. Hats, polo shirts. This is going to be by Real Seco. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a casino giveaway, but still, this right here should at least be like five to ten dollars. Um, some more women's apparel. This is going to be by Christina, size eight nylon, 92% nylon, 8% spandex. And this is a very cool type of boho type design. It has the lace on the outside and then the lining on the inside, that white part. So very cool, nice big baggy legs. I like that, I like that a lot and I, I was going for it. It looks like a designer, especially with the world that we're in today. More and more people are wanting to get styled up, create their own style with other designs, just like Shayna and Edwina, Thrifters Anonymous, like they find stuff and it goes to them and they create their own outfits and then they sell it in some places. So check them out. Shout out to Shayna and Edwina, Thrifters Anonymous. That's the two that we ended up having um, our modeling gig, Mikey Bags of Money and myself. A lot of fun, still hearing a lot about it. People can't believe that we are modeling. And it's kind of cool that there's other things that are involved with entrepreneurs. I, I say this all the time. We're not just resellers. We carry many titles. And now look at us, me and Mikey are models. All right, this was pretty fun to come across. It's gonna be like a Cinderella hard case purse. Has the top that opens right here. Nice and clean. So I thought that would be good for whatnot. Cinderella, Cinderella. So you could have it shoulder. And for people learning, this is crossbody. Hence, crossbody. So it's good keywords to use when you're listing stuff that is not just like a handbag or a shoulder bag it's cross could be a crossbody too support units like like this like foot guards foot protectors this is by corflex some of them go for a lot of money like 70 and up this one is in brand new condition i didn't see anything other around it that it could have went with sometimes there are attachments to where this is like a sling to where it goes to the back and its shoulders and it's helping just support the body um stay together ragged and sagging or dragging and they could be very very expensive with the condition of this one i need to do some more research but i'm pretty sure i could get around 20 to 35 dollars for this at a minimum it could be worth more but i'd be happy of just getting 20 bucks for this i also got it because it's super lightweight when it does sell i'm going to end up just pulling it putting it inside a large poly bag. So there's different types of shipping supplies that you'll need if you wanna become a reseller or looking into larger items. Think about how you're gonna protect this rather than just throwing it inside a cardboard box. People that pay big money for it don't just wanna just open something. Sometimes they get very judgmental. So I end up putting inside a large poly bag, which is very lightweight. You also wanna start looking at 
the weight of supplies because that one ounce could end up making it go a dollar fifty more three dollars more so think about that when you're doing shipping and i'm going to end up putting it around cardboard shipping for that should probably be around eleven dollars the most this one i was really excited about right here some handlebars this azonic brand right here matching brand handlebars and this stem right here this should give me around eighty dollars super super lightweight eighty dollars this alone is going to get me into profits once it sells and cover everything and everything's going to end up being profits for that i think this would be good on her whatnot with american arbitrage dawn is going to like this i'm going to get a reaction when i show her this if she doesn't see the video dawn as in lady arbitrage her and i like a lot of the same things they're going to be like more girly stuff but it's only because i know things about it because of my wife who has introduced me to brands like hello kitty sanrio friends uh of course tokidoki but ended up getting this uh kelly toy nice plush right here that's gonna go on whatnot and this one has a little bit of cleaning up to do this is despicable me too is it too well it's one of the despicable me's but this minion right here is the first time i've seen it in a banana and carry american arbitrage is always talking about bananas so uh more like b1 and b2 banana one banana two because those could be very very valuable keep an eye out for them especially the larger ones that are about this size so i think this would be really good for the whatnot look at this nice little build a bear not very expensive i don't think so unless it's like super unique but very very clean which is why i got it this one is going to be a funko pop jurassic park i'm going to look this one up this might be worth reselling on ebay if not it's going to go on whatnot with carrie jesse mikey bags of money lady arbitrage and of course myself so stay tuned when we go to that next sell i believe it's going to be thursday i'll put the link of carrie's whatnot in the description as well as mine um and mikey's and jesse's my little pony right here this one is also by build a bear very very cool that's going to go on whatnot has the magical little cape and then the tail goes through this little slit right here really cool how they made that little extra stuff for this also whatnot unless y'all say sunny that's you better put that on ebay it's a lot more money than what you think i like to get little things together like this little little balls little toys to bundle up on whatnot i learned that from carry american arbitrage and dawn here's some ty uh baby booze chris cajun reseller often talks about keeping your eyes out on these and look at that literally keep your eyes out on these because <laughs> of the big eyes they could sell for really good money so i'm gonna bundle these up nice little plush toy right here another little plush right here this one is brand new with tags and i just thought it was cute which is why i got it but there what is the brand name on there i don't see the name i see the tag but i don't see the name it was like cut off but nice giraffe remind me of toys r us kids and then Dallas Cowboys going to take over for 2024. I mean, the Raiders are, but this is really cool. Nice bear that goes with it. Nice little like Bernstein style, just blue Dallas Cowboy bear. And this one, what brand is this? Don't know the brand. Oh, I didn't even know there was a pocket in here. What is this? I didn't know this. I didn't check it out. Look, look at this. Surprises, surprises. Oh, it turns into a football. Look at that, folks. That is pretty darn cool. My dad's team is the Dallas Cowboys. I like the Dallas Cowboys, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of any sports. I just rock stuff. I just like to have a good time with friends, family, have some good barbecue food, and have some few drinks with family and friends. So look at that. Turns into a football. That is pretty cool. I need to remind myself that this turns in back to a bear or does it turn the bear turn into a ball? I think with the way I did it, the bear turns into the ball. Now the ball's going to turn into the bear. Piglet right here, a little NC picker, little TY Beanie Boos. I believe that's what it's called right here. A little piglet, NC picker. That's Chef Dave as well. All right, all, all, almost, almost done, folks. Just a couple of more things. And speaking of a couple, this is a couple. Some little dog costumes, maybe a cat costume, little caterpillars. These are very, very cool. Kind of reminds me of like a kitty type of the Chinese dance of the lion the prosperous lion that I always think is a dragon, but this is an outfit for your animal. Really nice condition, nice and fuzzy. I would have them on the inside, not in Vegas right now, outside, because this would be really, really warm, but not just one. I got two of them. Very, very, very cutesy. So I got those two as well. And then speaking of like Asian toys, 
um, the lion at least here's another one uh, pretty much fortune of money uh, this is probably year of the cow I don't know what year of this is right now but brand new tags lightweight and then we have Squirtle 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 little Pokemon plush really happy about this one I saw this one I was like oh I'm getting this one um, it's gonna be for reselling though so we'll see uh, anything else that I got I think anything else that I got oh one more thing one more thing ended up getting a bible um i have one of my own so people there saying you should get one sunny and start reading it i have a bible and how would you know if i'm reading it or not are you not one to say don't judge others i'm not judging i'm just saying <laughs> but i ended up getting this one a book of mormons there are different variations of them and uh, matt looked this up and said that goes for around 20 to 25 or more this is pretty decent condition there are some folding and some of the beginning of the pages but overall really really good condition and i can't leave it there think about it things like this like a bible whether you're into religion a lot but more than anything whatever you believe into and, and that higher power and it's like somewhere in the bins why did it end up reaching a the goal there how much was this being priced at wherever it was at in goodwill so for uh 50 cents is what i paid for this should get me around $20 in sales. That doesn't mean that that's gonna be the profit, but easy $15 in profit. Gonna wrap this up when it does sell, and I'm gonna list this right away. But if I could get 5,000 viewers on this and at least 500 thumbs up, I'm gonna do more videos of these, maybe once a week. Let me know what you think about that. I wanna add some new stuff to the channel. This is fun for me, and I hope you have some fun anxiety from it as I do. Um, in a good way. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more. I'm Sunny Las Vegas and I'm a reseller and damn proud of it.